Let's look at the mesh current analysis. The mesh current analysis, we are using mesh currents as unknowns, and we are trying to write the KV equations in each mesh, following the convention that we add all the voltage drops across each um, the non-source elements, and that should be equal to the sum of the, um, the voltage rises of the source. So let's follow that convention and write the uh, KV equation uh, for the basic case. The basic case that we only have voltage source or only voltage sources, right? Because in that case, you can put the voltage source as on the um, one side of the equation. So <coughs> you can uh, you can write this. Um, uh, you can solve this equation uh, fairly easily. Um, and in that case, let's start with the, this example here. I have this voltage source. I recognize this voltage source, I hope. And we have the, the other, we have impedance only. Um, by the way, I already labeled the, um, the mesh currents. And you, although you can choose, <coughs> you can choose any uh, convention, you can choose the, the clockwise or counterclockwise. Uh, it's good practice you choose the same uh, uh, the same um, orientation or following the same orientation for each mesh. Otherwise, um, you're gonna not gonna be able to um, uh, to do this um, by inspection. Okay, so let's see if I follow this. Um, clockwise direction for all the meshes and, and then I can write the equation. Let's start with the mesh one. And the mesh one, the voltage drops I have uh, for across this five over S and that's five over S times I one S plus the across this three ohm resistance that's the um, three times uh, I one minus I two And for the two ohm resistance, that's plus two times I one minus oh, this one, the minus I three. And for the uh, two ohm resistance, that's I one minus I two. That's equal to the voltage rises of the source. I don't really have any voltage source in that mesh one, right? For mesh two, For mesh two, I have, uh, I have. Um, let's start with the two ohm resistance. The two ohm resistance, the voltage drops. There is I two times I two s minus I one s, and plus I two and three s times. I two S minus I three S and that's equal to the voltage rises. The voltage rise from the plus to minus and that's voltage drop following the convention here, right? So this from this is the clockwise direction, so we are walking like this. And so from plus to minus that's voltage drop. So we need the voltage rises. I need to put negative sign here, that's a twelve over S. I hope that will not confuse you. And for now, mesh number three, that's an easy one because we don't have any source there. And in this case, we have, let's start with the three ohm resistance. You can start with any. And in this case, that's going to be I3 minus I1. Right? And plus uh, four, in this case, four times I3S and plus three S times I3S minus I2, that's equal to zero. So if you collect the terms, collect all the terms for the mesh, for the first equation, you will get, um, you will get the term that should be five over S plus three plus two and that times I1s and for the second one here you get a minus for in front of I2 you get a 2 minus a 2 I2s and for the 3 you get a minus 3 I3s that's equal to 0 and for the second one here you get a negative 
um, for the second equation that the coefficient in front of i1 is negative 2 times i1s and plus um, plus 2 plus 3s times i2s right that and for i3 that's minus 3s times i3 that's equal to negative 12 over s and for the um, last one that's the uh, that's the uh, 1 negative 3 times i1 s right and negative 3 s times i2 s and for the last one here we have uh, 3 plus 4 plus 3 s that's equal to 0 if you put it in the matrix form and you just put all the coefficients there in front of each for each equation. So in the first one here, I get a uh, 5 over s plus 3 plus 2. I'm carrying this number, so just want to make sure everybody knows what these, what this each term really is. Um, so here I get negative 2, I get negative 3. And this the unknowns are i1, i2, i3, right? And that's equal to 0, negative 12 over s, 0. And <clears throat> uh, for the second equation, I have a negative 2 and a 2 plus 3s. And I have a negative 3s. For the last equation, I have a negative 3 and negative 3s, and I got a 3 plus a 4 plus 3s. So this matrix is symmetric, right? This 3 by 3 matrix, this is symmetric. And at diagonal elements, on the diagonal, there is a positive, this is a sum of the impedances in each mesh, right? If you, uh, if you check with the uh, the the equate the original circuit there. So this is the uh, this this term. This is the sum of the. Let me zoom out a little bit. So in this case, this is the term. That's three. Uh, the three impedances, right? The three impedances in mesh one, and this is the two impedances in mesh two, and these are three impedances in mesh number three, right? And all the diagonal elements are the negative impedance is shared by the um, the meshes. Let's see, the between 1 and 2, so this is negative 2, so this is 2 ohm impedance shared by node 1 and and node 2, right? And for um, for node number 3, and then for, for this one here, 1, 3, that's the um, the impedance, negative impedance shared by by mesh one and mesh three, right? So you can, this this is fairly easy if you have the basic case. You can write this uh, matrix form without uh, with the inspection only, and so you don't have to go through the detailed steps. Okay, so let's look at the cases. Not the basic. That means if you have a current sources in the uh, in the circuit, right? So it will. Um, will be, uh, we need more attention to uh, how to deal with that uh, in the mesh current analysis. I'll see you in a moment in the next clip.